Hey everybody, I thought I'd do a little quick little trapping video here. Uh, deer season is pretty much over for me. I got five of them in the freezer. I might go out one more time and try and put another one in the freezer, but I really don't need it. Uh, just depends on how I feel, how the weather goes. Uh, so I'm starting to look forward to trapping now. When I got my Duke 550 here, and I realized that I never did a follow-up video from last year's video, first impressions. My first impressions were the great trap. Caught a couple coyotes, still thinking it's, it's a great trap, you know. Uh, I had a, a few minor uh, comments as far as uh, people not liking them, telling me, oh, after the first coyote, it's going to tear apart, which, you know, uh, this thing has got mud caked in it. I got a story behind this trap. Uh, it still works. Get all the mud broke off of it. Got mud all in the hinges. Hinges in the springs. Still works. <laughs> uh, probably works a little better now. That, uh, this thing looks this way for a reason. And I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, first, I said still got a little hair in it. I uh, caught a couple coyotes across the road here on some property we trap over there. Uh, caught a double right off the bat first day, and uh, after that, you know, we had to pull out. Cows moved in, and they were all over in there. So we moved to another piece of property, and uh, over there. Got set up, you know, earth anchors in, then the rain came, and it rained and rained and rained and rained and rained. Well, the second day, went there and checked, trap's gone. This trap, just totally gone. I was like, what in the heck? I have never, I mean, I've only been using these earth anchors for a couple years, and I've not lost a single one of them. But I guess the ground got so wet that the coyote pulled it out of the ground. Well, it's a black and white coyote we've been looking for. There's two of them. Well, he got, we was pulling up over the hill and we seen him running off and pulled over there to the traps. Traps gone. I'm thinking, he didn't have that on his leg, did he? I was like, no, he was, he was moving pretty good. Well, it turns out the next day, Gene shot the black and white coyote behind my house. Trap still on him. <laughs> so I got my trap back. <laughs> uh, wish I'd had that coyote. Oh, he was beautiful. But anyway, I uh, caught a big coon in the Duke 550. Uh, had no problems there. Uh, you know, so far, first impressions, I haven't caught a whole lot of animals, didn't get to do a whole lot of trapping last year. Hoping I get to do some more trapping this year, more than I did last year. But I, right now, you just, I never know. Uh, the way the job is, the way the work's going, it's just, it's, you never know. So, anyway, I did catch a few coyotes last year. Uh, the Duke 550 performed perfectly. I have no problem with it so far. So just want to give you guys a little update on the Duke 550 and stick around. Got some cool stuff coming, big stuff coming, and hopefully y'all enjoy it. Love y'all. God bless. I'll see you next time.